In this video, I will show you how to use OBS Studio mic filters in Discord. First of all, open the OBS Studio. Click on the settings option from the right side. On the next screen, select the audio option from the left side. Now scroll down until you see this option, advanced. Click on the drop down in front of monitoring device option, and you will see an option of cable input. You would have to click on it to select it. Then for the options below here, let them remain unchanged. Then close this window and go to mic and auxiliary. Click on the three dots from here. Select the option, advanced audio properties. A new window for mic and auxiliary properties will open. Now here it's important to change mic auxiliary to monitor and output from the drop down under the audio monitoring option. Let the tracks in front of it remain ticked. Once you are done, close it. Now you have to make sure that all your filters are on the actual mic. If you have them in audio input capture and you want to take them to mic and auxiliary, so click on the three dots beside the audio input capture and click on the option copy filters. The audio filters will be copied. Now go to the three dots beside mic and auxiliary and select the option paste filters. Now close the OBS studio and open your Discord account in any browser. On the dashboard, click on the user settings option from bottom left side. Now you have to make sure that OBS is running in the background otherwise it's not going to work. Then at the left side, scroll down and select the option voice and video. Do check that all of the other voice filters are disabled because you are doing that in OBS. In the voice settings, scroll down and look for the option video codec. Click on the toggle button in front of it to disable it. Also disable the toggle button in front of voice processing option. After that, scroll down and disable the toggle button in front of automatic gain control. Select this none option from the noise suppression section. As soon you select this option and disable the discuss toggle buttons, everything will be working properly.